Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. We are in the museum. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. It's donators time! So I've had four donations, I, I appreciate it, along with all these other lovely people. Um, we've had Gareth N, thank you very much. William S, uh, donated twice, so I appreciate that. It, one was from the stream, one was from YouTube. I appreciate that, well done, thank you. And Ibrahim A, uh, also donated, so so you four and all of you people here, my lovely museum donators, yes, you are wonderful, wonderful people. But all my subs are wonderful people, but you guys, I appreciate it so much. Um, yes, before we start going on about what we're doing today, just wanted to have a little chat, because we are going to do some work in the museum, because apparently I'm in a museum mood. Um, I need to do um, the newspaper probably next episode. Anyway, boop. See, much brighter at night. Um, uh, something that people have been coming up with, um, that people have been talking about, that they have noticed, is the lack of swearing that's been going on in my videos recently. Um, and, and that's true. I have not been swearing in my videos recently um, for about a month, actually, if you can believe it. I'm, I'm, I'm only not swearing on Minecraft videos um, because I actually had a chat with DMAC about... I think it was about yeah it was it was it was a month ago um and and we talked about the minecraft community and and all sorts of things and most of the hermits are um non-swearers um and i had to think think about what he said and I, I i thought actually it probably wasn't quite fair to the other hermits if um they're advertising me and they, they, they're sending their viewers over to me when they're family friendly and I'm not. So so it's more a respect thing than, than an anti-swearing thing. And it's just in Minecraft because I actually feel like um, based on the Minecraft community, I think, yeah, maybe not swearing is probably a good idea. But... Okay. Right. Um, yeah. So, so because of the Minecraft community and the people that I that I effectively am working with, I'm going to go not swearing for Minecraft. Um, so, so all my other videos, um, I don't think I've been swearing as much as them because I've started to put my recording hat on um, in general. So, yes, that's what we have to deal with, and I'm sure you guys are smart enough to to accept it for what it is. If you don't like it, you. Uh, feel free to do what you must do and um, yeah I'm gonna finish naming these things here and and then we're gonna talk about the name Minecraft is weirding me out anyway I'm gonna name all these things and and we're gonna talk about them talk through the names of the things that people have done and I'll show you all the different things that have happened since we've been last here Okay then, where were we? We were over here. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba Kill the creeper. Okay. Um, so yes, we've got the book. I finally signed it. It's called the Binomial System. Um, let's take a quick look. We've named all these. We named all these. Um, pumpkin. These are things that I've named. Creepius facius. Watermelon breaks into bitium. Um, Cactus, I haven't named. No, no, not like that. Oh, not like that. It's got to go down here to make it look right. So, cactus. Prickleius in bummius. In bummus. In bummius. There you go. Prickleius in bummius. Um, the sugar cane was Calorius empticus. Uh, potatoes was potato potato, which we've done before. Wheat is the glutinous maximus. Carrots, what is uppius docius. Netherwort, netherus acneus. Water lily, Warconor waterus. Dead bushes, why is this herium? Okay, let's take a quick look at the book. The wonderful, wonderful. I don't know why I'm talking in that accent. Okay, binomial system. Let's read about all the wonderful people that helped. If I can find the book. Where'd the book go? There. Yes, I need to make copies. In fact, that's it. First, before we do anything, let's make a copy of this book. Because 
yeah, it's scary when that happens. Tra la 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 tra la 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 book 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 uh binomial system book there you go and I'm gonna put that in here just as a backup copy right okay right these are the ones we've done before um done the now yes we did that one uh, Granny Gamer named the sugar cane for the lack of for the lack of nutritional substance. Died from chocolate overdose. Joseph Chance, this is the one that we couldn't remember. This didn't do last time. Named the Juliet family. It's currently under the tulips. He is currently pushing up. Seth Gray named wheat one of the most widely grown crops in the world, probably because it can be used to make beer. Died of alcohol poisoning. I don't know how to say this, but I'm going to say Say You Lily Productions named the carrot and promptly died in shock after meeting Bus Bugs Bunny. Thomas Hughes, famous for discovering netherwort, died of infection after popping pimples. That is everything. All the others were done by me. Um, so I'm going to put that book back and then we're going to talk about where we're going next. La 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 Cat. Hello. Okay. So the next part is we are going to start making some archways. This was an idea that came up after reading some comments from last episode. Um, I'm going to be making autumn, you know, spring, summer, autumn, winter archways. Um, I'm going to dig out the holes and um, yeah, it should be fun. Okay, so I've done the four archways. There's going to be sort of like a little... I haven't decided if I'm going to do another part of the hall or I'm going to make it go backwards. I think I might take it out and then go backwards for something else. Anyway, each of these is going to, this is going to be spring, summer, autumn, winter, and each one is going to have a different wood type framing it and a different glass type. Right, so the, uh, which one is this? This is going to be the, this is going to be winter, so we're putting, I know, I don't, I want it vertical, please. I should probably not stand so close when it's quite obviously going to draw monsters but okay um let's start this way then and that one's gonna come out isn't it poo holes like so run yep so the white wood is going to be there um i've got for summer we've got the sucks to be you uh for summer, we're going to have the dark oak. And by dark oak, I mean, like, the real... This is summer, isn't it? Yeah. Dark oak, like that, on the wall. Spring, we're going to have the, the, the light oak. Probably placed better than that, because that looks like poo. And because I don't like this wood very much we're going to have the acacia wood um that's going to autumn and i don't like it because it's the baked bean wood it's just not nice i, I like the fact that it's kind of gray but each wood is going to frame it and then we're going to have glass uh, sort of like a secondary archway with glass and in between the bits we're going to have all sorts okay so that's the wood part of the portals I need to go and work on the glass part because I want sort of like an inner archway um, so I can put stuff above it. But yes, that's summer, uh, spring, summer, autumn, winter so far. Maybe those, I think maybe those blocks need to come out and be like an actual archway. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Right, so as I've been doing this, <clears throat> I've been singing um, theme songs to old 80s cartoons and it strikes me that I grew up in the best cartoon era ever known and if you don't believe me you just have to look up things like actually what I was singing is called Ulysses 31 possibly not look up that actually no look up that Ulysses 31 was incredibly campy and awesome and one of the best cartoons I think I'll ever see and it had blue aliens in it and that's and that's 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 got to be worth something, I think. Um, yeah, so I've, I've, yeah, I, I, I have to say, I really do appreciate 
the cartoons that happened in the 80s because the 80s of course as we know um was the best uh, era for pretty much everything um except for the internet the internet i i i yeah is a 90s thing and i can i can appreciate the internet for what it's worth um i bet you couldn't believe that uh right and that goes up there and that goes up there i remember things like uh of course, the mysterious cities of gold. If you've if you've never seen that, I mean, when I was a kid, cartoons used to be much more. Oh, did I already get that down? Okay, uh, much more serious and intense, and they told more more of a story, which is possibly where I get my whole story obsession from. Um, but that actually seems pretty logical to me, thinking about it. Yeah. Um, There we go. So, yeah, I mean, uh, things like the mysterious cities of gold. If you don't know what that is, one, it was, I believe it was a French cartoon originally, but we kind of, you know, stole it. And by stole it, I mean, you know, uh, uh, just translated it and did stuff. I hate creepers. I'm getting to really be really irritated by creepers. Um, yeah, Mysteries of Sea... Oh, God. I Apparently, this is where the beacon boops off. Um, Mysteries of Cities of Gold was about a kid called um, Esteban, um, who was a Spanish kid. Um, I bet you couldn't guess with a name like Esteban. And um, they, they, they made him uh, go... <laughs> they made him go... Um, to South America to look for the, the mysterious cities of gold and there was this whole thing with the giant flying golden condor base basically um I think it was is it the Incas or the Mayans I can't remember what they call which one they were in the story but um yeah they they'd um <laughs> they'd made a giant flying condor because that's what you do if you're an advanced civilization oh no I didn't want that there oh poo bums um <laughs> a giant flying golden condor and a giant fly a, a giant golden ship because gold is well known for its uh, uh aerodynamic and uh and floating properties obviously but of course it had to be gold because you know otherwise why would you call it the mysterious cities of gold um that had to be one of my favorite cartoons as a kid um because it was it was cheesy as hell as well and it made me laugh um i have to say it made me laugh a lot more than like the the 90s cartoons that were just like aren't we wacky blah 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 not too into those although the the, the cartoons when my nephew was growing up were even worse um i sound so old <laughs> i am old nuts to it i am old i, I can accept that um but yeah and and so, so that was my favourite one. And there was also, um, was it Around the World in 80 Days? Or is it Around the World with Willy Fogg? Um, which was basically a giant lion. Uh, hello. Hello. Um, a giant lion was uh, Phileas Fogg. Um, huh. Actually, that, that sort of looks how I intended it to. I, I'm not sure if I like the way it looks, but um, let's fill it in with all the stuff that's going in there first. Um, where was I? Oh yes, Around the World with Willy Fogg. Around the World in 80 Days. Da -da 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 -da. The theme tunes of the 80s, 80s classics. Spot on. Um, Mysterious Cities of Gold. Um, and uh, Around the World in 80 Days. And... <laughs> particularly Ulysses 31 if you can if you can remember those you're you're really old but um I'm not going to spoil those theme tunes for you but I I'm going to leave it at that for the moment I'm going to start faffing with um the interior design and if I can remember any cartoons I'll I'll remind you I'll I'll I'll, I'll mention them because I I I'm getting nostalgic <laughs> hmm. I like the dead bushes I'm I'm going to include flowers or things in all of these just haven't White decided what I'm going to put in the autumn one yet. Uh, there's got. Where is the orchid gone? Orchid? 
No. Hmm. Maybe I'll put in like some acacia wood. That's weird. Where is the orchid gone? Huh. I'm sure it was there a minute ago. Anyway, um, I'm thinking actually I need to get some packed ice. Uh, let's go to the other ver olive, uh, other uh, blah, 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 blah. yes that's exactly where we're going going to the other village which is the words that I meant to say since we're here I thought I'd best take a look at subscriptions see if anyone new has done anything Zuma to the wasteland TFC to the mushroom unhost to the Batmobile and Corrales to Hermiton house right that's what I'm going to do next episode. Um, I'm going to make the new issue and start sending them out. Hmm. Mm. I know what else I want to do whilst I'm here. Since we're trying to get uh, the, the museum at full capacity, I need to write a book, says I'm one. Okay, slips packed ice sh shop A. I'm pretty sure it's um, one diamond for three stacks. Okay, so so payment, one diamond for three Oh, okay. I, I will do it the other way around then. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, poo. Have some flesh. Shh. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. Can't prove anything. Right. Mm. The book. Uh, pay. Uh, right. Since we're at the um, museum and we're looking for all types of flora and fauna, um, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going. I'm, I'm going to uh, write this off camera. Right. Book. Hey Jeff, I'd like a breeding pair of mushrooms for the museum. I believe the going rate is a gold block each and a diamond block for delivery. Cheers, Cleo. This is the chest of stuffs and off we go back to the museum. Oh, 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 flowers. I need flowers because I kind of want pink flowers for the pink glassed area, the spring area. And I want, I want, and the only ones they've got are pink ones by pink ones I mean this one and I also need some orange tulips because I don't have a lot of those um, and do it to well get the, let's take 10 I know I'm not gonna need 10 but they're rare and I like them oh I'll, I'll, you know what I'm gonna stick stuff in there over stock for now um, like the glass and the gunpowder and the egg for some reason okay and I need some oranges for the for the uh, autumn side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Um, I've got white flowers over there. I've got. Oh, I need some more of these because. Uh, what else do I need? What else do I need um, for summer? Summer would be sunflowers, but they're a bit big. Um. Hmm. I don't want tulips. Hey, hey, spum. I don't want tulips for everything. I think summer will be the giant daisies which I've got back at the base. Oh, and the these ones, these ones. And I'm thinking this will be so the orange are for autumn. Maybe the blues. No problem. Uh, okay. I'm off! Back to base, back to base. Well, hello. What's, what's going on here then? Huh. Looks like someone's been busy. I'm going to check this out off camera because I don't want to ruin what other people have been doing. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh yes, the guys are good. The guys are really good. Um, yes. Well done, guys. I like what you did down there. Secret for a little bit anyway. Boop. Right, let's have a fiddle. I don't want all blocks the same, so uh, 
Let's get the oak wood just so I can boop myself up. Um, I've got the feeling that this should all be packed ice. Just sort of in the corner, have this framed by, because I, I basically want like the same sort of, I like that. That's a lot better. Um, I'm thinking maybe of actually changing these ones. So maybe having two for each, two plants for each thing. And instead of having dead wood, I could get some evergreen saplings. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so, yes, everything saplings. Uh, two, I think. I don't want to over, over, overload it with, you know, stuff. Boop, biddy, boop, biddy, boop, biddy, boop, biddy, boop, boop. Up this way. Thank you. Just put it somewhere else. I don't care. Dunk. And I wanted the evergreens in there. Boop. And if I boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Hmm. Hmm. Not convinced. There, there. I'm not convinced, Mr. Creeper. Boop, boop. Um, got the feeling that this one should be slightly different. Ah, oh, just things and stuff. Maybe have it like. Uh. Have snow like this. And then uh, then maybe snow and ice like that. Let's have a look and see how that looks. Yeah, I quite like that actually. It's a nice little snowy archway. I get the feeling that the wood should be out further, but I don't really like the wood um, showing itself like that. Why is there wood there? Never mind. Doesn't matter. So it goes bloop and bloop and then bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm gonna take you out and gonna put. this tree in there and then it's snow, snow, ice, ice, snow. Okay, let's take a look back. I actually like the pattern. I think the archway itself needs a bit of work. Maybe not doing them different colours of wood, maybe doing something else. I need to think about actually, I actually need to think about that archway, but I like the patterns on the inside. I am going to faff with these patterns now. <laughs> I thought I'd just let you see the awful before I destroyed it. Uh, that This is me having a little bit, a little bit of an experiment. This is rubbish. Um, this, this is not a good pattern. I'm thinking I might just do white and pink. Um, so maybe, maybe like white flowers and wool, possibly, yeah. So welcome back to quite possibly the worst things I have ever built, ever. These are awful in a way that knows no bounds. I make no excuses for how bad these are. These are terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. Um, yeah, I, I didn't even finish that one because I just looked at it and just went, no, 
Just no. Um, it's a good idea, bad execution. Um, I am not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the, the archways because I like the archways. Do not like the filling, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are awful. I, I apologise, but um, I, I'm showing you the fact that they're awful because a lot of people go, how do you make things so good? And I'm just like, you tear down things that aren't good. If you leave the things up that are rubbish, yeah, you're never going to improve. So if you don't like something, don't just leave it there. Take it down and start again. And um, I'm not sure I'll be doing it next episode because I feel like I've spent a lot of time over here. Um, next episode I should be doing the Herald and um, maybe the episode after we'll come back and fix this with a better idea. If you've got better ideas, by all means leave them in the comments. Um, yeah, so, so <laughs> this is goodbye from awfulness. Just awfulness. And I will see you lot next time. Class dismissed.